How's it going everyone? My name is Medieval Duck and today we're going to be going into some legendary battles and talking about the update that's coming in just a couple days time. We've got balance and changes coming. We have the ice spirit getting nerfed from two seconds to one and a half. We have the ice golem getting increased. So it's going to be so much stronger now. It's going to be incredible. The rage spell for the lumberjack and the regular rage spell is getting increased from 30% to 35% and the inferno tower is getting nerfed just a little bit, which I... I think those are all good, the, especially the Ice Spirit, which is only a one elixir and is really OP right now. Also, there's some balance, uh, not excuse me, not balance. There's the update, which is going to be friendly or friendly battles, which means for tournaments and challenges that everybody's levels are all all their towers are going to be level nine, all their troops are going to be the same level. There's going to be no more unevenness. There's not going to be like a level seven playing a level nine. Everybody's troops, even if they're lower, they're going to be increased. If they're higher, they're going to be decreased. Everybody's going to have the same level. It makes it really fair. Also, it's going to make it really nice for trying out new decks. Speaking of new decks, let's upgrade this furnace to level 7. We need to get this deck up and running. It's going to be soon. when We're going to, st we're going to start using this pretty soon. So, there we go. Level 7. That's a decent rare. I'm going to go for that Mega Minion to level 6 next, and then probably the Epic's up. Um, back to this deck. We There's also going to be part of the update, which includes... When people are spectating battles, they can't see how much elixir their opponents have. Or actually, I think it's I think it's hiding all elixir because there's been some cheating going on higher up in the trophies where people will just have like a second account spectating their battle and they'll be able to see how much elixir their enemy has, whether they should push or however they're going to battle. It's up to them. So they're not going to be changed. Also, there's going to be um, there's going to be a new card. It's going to be the Tornado, I believe. There's two more other cards and uh, Legendary coming into the mix. And I believe they're going to keep adding cards every few weeks, so this will be interesting. And one more thing before we get going into a battle. When they are, it, it, excuse me, in the update, they are um, the muting when you can mute your opponent. It's not going to show anything. If you mute it now, it's just going to be like they're not saying anything instead of like that. It's like... Oh, but you don't know what they're saying that could be even worse so they're gonna change that completely I'm sure there's other things I'm just forgetting them for right now let's hop into a battle let's see what this deck can do we're trying to farm up some more chests so we can get that other deck up and running it's getting close I want to get my epics to four rares to seven at least and the commons to eleven which I have two of so we're going to send in the giant. He's got the musketeer coming in. We're going to probably send in the lumberjack after him because I'm betting this guy has barbs. But that's okay. I don't want to push too early on. Sometimes I push too early on and then I'll just get smited and I'll lose what... Okay, he's got the inferno. That's fine. Let's just actually rocket that. That'll probably... That'll be close on elixir. There we go. And the giant and the... Okay, he's got... See, that's two seconds stop. Ooh. That log just wiped out my spear goblins. Luckily, we've got a couple hits in with... One hit in with the giant. Do enough damage. We're up in this battle. He's probably close on elixir, so it's we're up by 250 damage. All right, so I'm probably gonna use the musketeer because that's the safe bet. They could fireball barbs if he has that, or he could zap minion horde, and both of those are good trade-offs for him. So I can't afford to do that. All right, he's got hog rider coming. We're gonna send in the barbs. He may have the fire spirits, which is always a deadly combination because I put down my barbs and it wipes him out, and it's only a complete two elixir card. Just rocketed barbs. Okay, that means he probably doesn't have another troop. We'll send in the mini horde. Hopefully. Oh, that's gonna be... You know what? That's fine. That's fine. We're still gonna get a couple hits in. Just a couple. Now we're up by about 550 damage. This is looking good. He hasn't touched us yet, and we've done quite a bit of damage to him. Thank you, Rebus, from Relva Pazpagos OG, whatever your name is. I have no idea. We're gonna go again with the giant. I'm hoping he sends in something I can use the rocket again and get elixir bonus on usually tends out to work well. Probably going to follow up with the Spear Goblins. Now, I know he has the Log, and I know he has the Rocket, so I don't want to pile up too many troops. Okay, he's got the Musketeer coming in. We're going to send the Spear Goblins in from the back right corner. I bet he's going to place the Mini P.E.K.K.A., so we're going to... Okay, he's placed the Inferno. Actually, we're just going to let this one... Okay, we're going to... We're actually going to place the Musketeer. The Inferno Tower is going to take them a Giant. He has logged my Spear Goblins. Now, we're going to send in the Lumberjack, and we're going to send in... I don't want to be full on Elixir. Let's send in the Minion Horde. See, that's what I didn't want to happen. There, I'll place my barbs after he rockets. Now I have minion horde and barbs coming on the left side. He's most likely going to use the log, so I don't want to place my spear goblins yet. Okay, he zapped him. 
I'm gonna zap. All right, that was really foolish on my part. Now he's winning. Let's just rocket that just because I have elixir and I don't know what to do with it. It's always good for 500 damage. Now he's probably gonna send in the lumberjack again. Here we go. He's gonna be sending in the musketeer. Okay, there he goes. I meant the hog runner, not the lumberjack. I'm sending the lumberjack. All right, he's actually beating us pretty bad now, but that's okay. We've done quite a bit of damage to this guy overall. Now, Spear Goblins, people don't understand. They do 300, 400 damage when you just let them go, which is really foolish, I believe. He's got that. We can zap it, though, and it'll one-hit that. We'll send in the... Okay, that's fine. Get ahead there, Lumberjack. Get ahead, get ahead, get ahead. Yes, the Lumberjack's tanking. This will be perfect. Thanks. Good game, buddy. That was a well-played, Rebus, but, you know, you can't win them all, especially not against the Master Death. Oh, he's angry. Thanks for the 29 cups and the golden chest. All right. Oh, we got a crown chest. Let's see what we got in here. We got some gold as always. Two gems. That's fine. Two spear goblins. That's nice. I use those. Five mortars. Hate it. Minion horde. Yes. Yeah, or mega minion. Excuse me. I love that card now. And 61 barbers, which I have over 1,800 of. Okay. That's, you know, that's good. We're going for another battle. Let's see if we can scrape up one more chest here. Thank you. I don't even know what your name is, but I'm going to collect some whatever from you. You're only level 9. Okay. All right, we're going to send in the giant again. And I hope, I'm guessing this guy, you know, uh, no, that's not, I don't even know what deck. I was, I was just going to make up a card and say he has that kind of a deck. All right, he's got the, he's got the uh, Lava Hound coming in. Usually guys with the Lava Hound either have the Lightning Spell, something to take on my Minion Horde, but that's okay. We're going to send in the Minion Horde. I usually use the Musketeer, but I don't have it in this case. We're going to zap his Minion Horde, and hopefully... Okay, yep, there's the fireball. This is always bad because there's... Oh, this is not going to look good. This is not looking good at all. Okay, actually, that didn't go too bad. We, we countered him okay. We only lost a couple hundred HP. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Um, We're probably going to use the giant again. See if we can get something built up here. I'm betting he's going to send in something other than the lava hound. Just kidding, he's probably sending that. Alright, we got the giant coming in. Oh, baby dragon. Level 5, that's pretty high. Um, hmm. And the lava hound, okay. Well, it's one of those decks where he's just got all air troops, but I can't counter it with anything. First game, zap, see if we can get some work done here. Okay, luckily the princess is locked onto my giant, which is going to work hopefully pretty well. We're going to send the musketeer. This guy might have the inferno tower. No, okay, this guy's done. He's so done. He is done. The giant's tanking, and the musketeer and him are just tearing this place up. It's too late. The giant has already tanked it. Thank you, good sir. I need that. It's looking up to be another win. He's only done 700 damage. We've done 2,500 to him. Actually, a lot more than 2,500 now. This giant's taking a couple hits on the main hour. We're going to send in the lumberjack here on the left side. And we're going to put the giant in the middle as soon as he gets close. Now, this is risky because it's not yet double elixir. He'll probably... Send in something big. We see with the deck with a lava hound, it costs seven elixir for the lava hound. It's quite a bit. Now the oh poop, I missed that. That's okay. We still wrecked him there. We're gonna send in the mini horn on the left side before he places the lava hound. There, second tower is down, and this is looking really good. It's gonna be pretty tough for him to get a two star on me. To come back and get a two star. Okay, he has the inferno dragon. That's okay. Okay, this is looking mighty fine. Lumberjack's going to deal some major damage on the tower up there. We're going to put those spear goblins up there, see if we can get even more. Maybe even send in the minion horde. We're going to try to finish this guy off with a three crown. Who knows if we can. We might be able to. Here we go. And yes, we did. Thank you very much, good sir. I needed those. I needed the, I need the trophies. Pushing up high. Another 30. Thank you. The trophy thieves. I believe we're actually pretty close to our all-time best. Yep, I one trophy off. I'm sure I could be higher if I was using uh, Princess instead of the Rocket, but you know that's okay. We're going to be aiming for upgrading this deck to functioning capacity so we can get those guys up. Thanks all for watching me, guys. This was another video. We talked a little bit about the update, and we had some fun in the Legendary Arena kicking some guys' butts. Thanks all for watching. Have a nice day.